Good Wednesday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. After the first significant snow across south-central Alaska in more than a month, the next weather maker seems to be shaping up across the central and western Aleutians. Already some snow showers across places like Kiska and out toward Attu, with a 988 millibar low working against some very cold air across the sea ice moving through the St. Matthew Island waters. A ridge of high pressure across eastern Siberia feeding into low pressure there, moving out of the northern parts of the Pacific. As a result, winter weather advisory is posted now for the western Aleutians, and blowing snow is the main issue here. That'll go in effect at 9 o'clock tonight until 9 p.m. on Thursday. Two to four inches of snow is possible for areas around Shemya and Amchitka. Visibility could be reduced to one-half mile or less, and winds from the north and east 35 to 50 miles per hour is likely, with precipitation and winds beginning to increase this evening as that low-pressure system passes to the south and east of Shemya. Winds and precip will likely peak early Thursday morning before uh, passing through Thursday afternoon, and then conditions should begin to improve. In the Pribilovs, a blizzard watch is in effect from Thursday morning until Thursday evening. Three to five inches of snow is possible there. The visibility down to about a quarter mile or less at times with wind east 30 to 45 miles per hour. Precipitation will likely become steadier and increase in intensity Thursday morning as an area of low pressure pushes into the bearing. And about the same time, the winds will begin to increase in response to the proximity of the low pressure system. Winds and precip will peak on Thursday afternoon and conditions should gradually begin to improve by the evening hours. As you look at the rest of Thursday, across the Alaskan Peninsula, rain and snow will begin to develop. There snow showers possible for Kodiak and parts of the YK coastline into Bristol Bay. Most of the interior should enjoy a mostly to partly sunny day. Some areas of fog across the middle Tanana and Yukon valleys there, but by and large, it should be a pretty bright afternoon for many. Low pressure sitting just across the Yukon and British Columbia border at 1,024 millibars may be just enough to steer some of the clouds out of northern parts of southeast. Across the south, uh, Ketchikan, Annette, and maybe all the way up the coastline to Sitka, there could be some pockets of rain and snow. Heading into Friday, low pressure continues its slog northward at 973 millibars, very close to the Pribilovs. It looks like a pretty healthy southerly flow working across the eastern parts of the chain, the Alaska Peninsula, and the YK coastline, and warmer weather is moving into south-central and southeast. With Alaska statewide weather, I'm meteorologist Dave Snyder.